Hey, good day and welcome to Gorilla Magic's next Photoshop tutorial. We will take you down that toolbar now to the marquee tool. It'll be the second one down below that move tool. Uh, if you look, you'll see a little black triangle under certain tools on the toolbar. That means that there are other tools stacked underneath there. So if I click and hold it, eventually I will see the, we've got a rectangular marquee tool, the elliptical marquee, the single row horizontal, and the single row vertical. So in this case, I'm going to start with the, I'll go with the rectangular tool. It's probably the more common one that I end up using. We'll come over here to this picture of Deanna. I will make a rectangular drag around her from top to bottom. And I'm just clicking from the top and I'm dragging down to the bottom and then letting go. If I hit Control J, that will make a new layer. And so if I turn off the other background layer, you'll see that we, all we have is that one layer we just made around her frame. The, um, uh, using the Move tool that we had had in the last tutorial, making sure I'm highlighted on her layer, I can just take her and drag her over a little bit here. And what I'll do to just make it interesting on a quick form, I'm going to desaturate with Control shift u the background layer and I'm going to make it a little bigger. So by hitting Control t after I unlock this layer, I will just expand her out a little bit higher. And fill in that area on the right. And I will even add in an additional layer of white, which I'm going to put behind her. Now I can see both again, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity on this black and white layer. So, so now we have this, this cool looking dual image mosaic of the same person. Take that top layer of Deanna, come up to transform, flip it horizontal. And we kind of got that reverse effect look. So that's what you get with the marquee tool. You can do the same thing with that rectangular tool, uh, the uh, elliptical tool. And that would be uh, for those two. As far as the other one, I'll come up to the image the way we started out. You're not going to find too much use for the single column marquee, but what I have used it for is if it's only a one pixel wide column, you just click anywhere and that's going to take just that image in a vertical, one pixel across. I'll hit Control J again to duplicate that layer. Control T is going to allow me to stretch it out, stretch it out. And I'll hit Enter to activate it. So I'm using all of the colors that are in the same image and I'm getting a, the vertical or horizontal lines. Uh, now, what do you do with it when you have it? Well, I can take this layer, put it on top, Make a quick layer mask, use the brush tool, and I can just come around her like so, just to give her a little vignetting with that background layer. But again, it's complimentary because all of the colors that you see in that image are colors from the image. So we didn't go out and borrow anything else that would throw it off. But those are your marquee tools. Thank you for checking this out, and if you have any other questions or information, just visit www.gorillamagic.biz. Thanks for watching.